Okay, today we're going to be testing the Aguila Sniper Subsonic 60 grain round. This is a subsonic round, travels I believe 950 feet per second. And I'm going to be shooting them into two phone books. And just to give you an idea of how thick these phone books are, it is 877 pages plus 15 of the green pages. So I'm going to have it going into two of these phone books. Um, we just want to test which is better, speed or weight. I think we probably already know in my personal opinion, I'd rather have the weight over the speed. Um, the speed does count if you're actually shooting long distance depending on what kind of target you're trying to hit. But for personal defense, uh, with the 22 LR, I'll stay out to 6,500 yards. That's about all I really want to shoot with it anyway. Um, I'd probably rather go with a 40, 42 grain if it's available. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'll be shooting into this right here, which is two phone books duct taped together. And there's a box of kitty litter, which there's no kitty litter in there. It's just old charcoal. So let me set this camera up and give me about 10 seconds to get to my M&P 1522. And let's see what it does. All right, give me 10 seconds and we'll fire one off. All right, let's see what we have here. <sighs> yeah, dead center right there. You can see that. And I'm gonna try to go ahead and open these phone books. Let's get this off. And it looks like it went through let's get all of this off here first definitely went through one definitely and over here you can actually see the round right there and if I were to let's pull this over here if I were to pull this back, the round you can see stuck in here, right there, there you have it. So that's it right there, uh, bear with me here, shaky camera, I apologize for that. So I went through completely one book and partially into the next book. Yeah, okay. 
It looks like it kind of hit the book and started to deviate. You can tell, like, um, you know, kind of pivot there. But um, let's see about how many pages did it rip through. And let's see here. Still see a little divot there. But on page 103, you don't see that. So let's back up a little bit. say page 90 so if we do the math I believe it I said it was 877 pages plus 15 so it was like uh, or actually it was 8, 877 total I believe and plus 90 so we just do the math and I'll figure that out later but um, not a bad performer um, I did use the Aguila. Let me get that off there. The Aguila interceptors, which was a 40 grain, and I was very impressed with that. However, that was a a supersonic round. I believe it was 1470 feet per second, and it went through two of these phone books no problem, and actually kept going and made a little divot in that kitty litter box there but um yeah not a bad round it looks like it did did its job you know definitely through one phone book no problem and partly into the second phone book um there's the round there it looks like it kind of start to deviate so i'm not sure i think maybe the round is moving too slow uh, i do think 60 grain is probably just a little too heavy for a 22 long rifle um, as far as optimal rounds for or optimal weight for a 22 long rifle, in my opinion, Lampua made a, a, a round called a Score Max. They don't make it no more. They stopped making it about three or four years ago. But it was a 48 grain. And it was, uh, I believe it was 10, 20 feet per second. But that was an awesome round. Too bad they don't make that anymore. But there you have it. The Aguila Supersonic <coughs> Subsonic <coughs> Excuse me Subsonic round um, Through one One in I say one and one eighth Phone book There you have it